graphing quadratic function. Let's have first the definition of terms before we proceed to the step-by-step -step process of graphing a quadratic function. So, before learning how to graph quadratic function, we need to unlock some definition of these terms. First, first word, or the first term is parabola. When you say parabola, it refers to the graph of the quadratic function. If the value of your a is greater than zero, or shall I say, if it's positive, then it opens upward. But if a is less than zero, or negative, then it opens downward. Second term, the word domain. Domain represents the set of x values of the graph. Again, domain is the set of x values of the graph. Range. Range is the set of y or f of x values of the graph. Again, range is the set of y or f of x values of the graph. Next is the table of values. The table of values is a table where you can look for the domain and range. Again, the table of values is a table where you can look for the domain and range. Next is the vertex. The vertex is the turning point of the parabola having the ordered pair hk. If a is greater than 0, then the vertex is the minimum point. But if a is less than 0, then the vertex is considered as the maximum point. Next, axis of symmetry. It is a line that passes through the vertex and divides the parabola into two equal halves. And they are mirror images of each other. To get the value of the axis of symmetry, it's just equivalent to h, or shall I say, x equals h. Next is the x-intercept. The x-intercept is a point in the graph that lies on the x-axis. Again, it is a point on the graph that lies on the x-axis. Next is the y-intercept. A y-intercept is still a point. It's still in the graph. But this time, it lies on the y-axis. Again, x-intercept point on the x-axis. Y-intercept point lies on the y-axis. Next. Next is the minimum point. Minimum point is the lowest point of the graph, usually referred to the vertex of the graph. So if the parabola opens upward, then you have a minimum point. Next is the maximum point. It is the highest point of the graph and usually referred to the referred as the vertex of the graph. If the parabola opens downward, then you will have a maximum point. Again, minimum point or the lowest point of the graph usually referred to the vertex of the graph. Minimum point only exists if the graph opens upward. Maximum point only exists if the parabola opens downward. Again, the minimum and maximum point is the referred to the vertex of the graph. Lastly, the, re the zeros of a function. Zeros of a function refer to the values of x where the graph of y intersects the x-axis. In short, we could also say the roots of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Zeros can be found in the values of the x-intercepts. Again, zeros can be found in the values of the x-intercepts. 